distance relay. In NC code, it is expressed as 21. Distance production provides the following features. More accurate as more information you is used for taking decisions. Directional features that is it responds to the phase angle of current with respect to voltage features. It can be operated for the forward direction for zone 1, zone 2 and zone 3 and also for reverse direction for zone 4 protection. It is fast and accurate. It has backup protection capability. Primarily it is used in transmission line protection. Also it can be applied to generator backup loss of field and transformer backup protection. The distance relay operates on the principle of comparing the voltage and current in some way to obtain a measure of the ratio between this quantity in terms of impedance. In this figure, two substations has been shown in this figure. The line impedance has been shown by ZL. A fault occur at a distance of the fraction of the line H here VR is the voltage seen at relay uh, C of the bus A equal to H into ZL into IR IR is the current at relay ZL is the line impedance VR is the voltage at relay point C in the A side of the bus since the relay measures the ratio of relay voltage to relay current, we compute the relay apparent impedance ZR which is defined as BR by IR is equal to ZR equal to H into ZL. However, if the fault is closer to point A, the voltage at the relay will be slightly lower or the current is slightly higher, then the measure impedance will be less than H into ZL and the relay will trip. Distance relays can be classified into phase relays and ground relays. Actually distance relay has both the features for phase fault and ground fault or earth fault. Phase relays are used to protect the transmission line against phase faults such as three phases or double line fault and ground relays are used to protect against ground fault such as single line to ground fault double line to ground fault in this figure here uh, a is the substation from which a line goes to another substation b from b a line goes to another substation that is c from B, a line goes to another substation that is D. From B, there goes to another line to substation E. Here, from B substation, the shortest line is BD and longest line is the BC. B is the medium line. The relay R1 has to provide primary protection to the line AB as well as the backup protection to the line BC, BD and also BE in the forward direction of the fault. The primary protection should be fast and hence preferably it should be done without any intentional time delay. While backup protection should operate if and only if corresponding primary relay fails in the figure. R1 relay backs operation of the relay R3, R5 and R7. Typically distance relays are provided with multiple zones of protection to meet the stringent selectivity and sensitivity requirements. At least three zones of protection are provided for distance relay. Zone 1 is designated by Z1 and zone 2 and zone 3 by Z2 and Z3 respectively. Zone 1 is meant for protection of the primary line. Typically it is set to cover 80% of the line length. Zone 1 provides first aid protection because 
there is no intentional time delay associated with it operating time of zone 1 can be of the order of one cycle zone 1 does not cover the entire length of the primary line because it is difficult to distinguish between the faults at all of which are close to the bus b in other words if a fault is close to bus b in the line pc or bd or be one cannot ascertain if it is on the primary line bus or on the backup line this is because of the following reason reason one cities and pts have limited accuracy during fault a city may undergo partial or complete saturation the resulting errors in measurement of the apparent impedance seen by relay makes it difficult to determine for location at the boundary of line very accurately number two derivation for equation of distance relay made some assumption like neglecting capacitance of the line unloaded system transport line and bolted faults in practice none of these assumptions are valid fault on a line will also destroy effect of transposing such factor effect accuracy of distance relaying further algorithm for numerical relays may use a specific transmission line model for example a transmission line may be model dash a series rl circuit and the contribution of distributed sound capacitance may be neglected due to model limitation and because of transient accompanied with the fault working of numerical algorithm is prone to errors different zone of distance protection has been shown in this table number one is the zone one it is 80 percent of the protected line length the time delay here is no time delay that is the operation is instantaneous the direction is on the forward direction that is towards the line number two zone two it covers 120 percent of the line if there is further no line for the far end substation or 100 percent of the protected line plus 50 percent of the adjacent shortage line time delay it is normally set as 0.3 to 0.350 second direction it is also forward direction number three zone three 120 percent of the protected line plus next longest line the time set as 0.8 to 1 second direction is again forward zone four it is 10% uh, for long line that is line above 100 kilometers and 20% of the shortest line that is line less than of the line length 100 kilometer time delay set as 500 millisecond its direction is the reverse direction the timing di diagram for relay r1 of the figure has been shown in this figure however the characteristics of zone 1 and zone 2 and zone 3 has been shown in the rx diagram it is called the mo characteristics of distance relay if you like my videos please go to my channel and see other videos and share between your friends and please subscribe